Welcome to the Turing Test. Let's do this. A puzzle game that I'm really liking so far. Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. Really? You constructed yourself? Was that part of your programming or are you learning? Okay, so <clears throat> this game involves a lot of moving orbs around, power sources with your little gun. Um, so this connects everything, apparently. <clears throat> what if I shoot that? Oh, I can't, okay. Whoop. Musical doors. Okay, that one's much easier than the last puzzle. So far, I've been I've been cruising through this. The last puzzle uh, did stymie me, me a little bit, stymie me. Uh, but I got through it. it took me about have ten you minutes. Heard of the Turing test, Ava? Yes, I have. It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. Where are you? It's created by Alan Turing. Original Turing tests. <coughs> a human judge has two conversations: one with a machine, and one with another human. See if you can tell the difference. They then judge which of these polite conversations mm -hmm. is with a machine. And which is with a Alan Turing in the 60s, I think? The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine and which is with a human. Do you think you've passed the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation. Wouldn't you say? Why did you say that all creepy? Like, wouldn't you say? Yes, don't hurt me. <clears throat> um... I feel like I haven't really studied the Turing test too much, but that's got to be hard with all the variables because it really, there's so many factors there, like <clears throat> who's taking the test, what experiences they have, how many times have they, they taken the test because they may learn to read patterns, uh, you know, a lot of variables there. Okay, anyway, this, oh, I don't have any blue juice, I need blue juice, we could put that cube in there, which would activate this, or de it's already activated, I guess. All right, let's just start uh, t trying out some stuff here. Uh, let's activate this, perhaps. Oops. Okay, that brings me right back up here, which also leads to here. Is that it? Any blue juice I can suck up? Doesn't seem to be. There's blue juice. Oh, what'd that do? Hold on. Sorry guys, hold on one second. Ah, hold on, my bad. Thought I had a freaking bug on my foot, but it was a uh, part of the wire. Okay. <clears throat> okay. What did this do? Folds up that ladder. Okay. How do I? Hmm. Let's take that. Wow, okay, it's getting a little complex now. Can I... Oh, I think I know what to do. Hold on. <clears throat> Take that blue juice. Go over here. Oop, wrong way. My bad. Grab that cube. Wait. Yeah, grab that cube. Yeah. No, because... Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me just try my theory out. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's right. Bring that cube up here. Drop it. And suck out the blue juice. Aha! Okay. <clears throat> now. Drop it. 
Let's store this cube in here. Well, we could just put it in here, I suppose. Can we? Yeah. And then... Grab that blue juice. Is there anything else I can grab? I already got the blue juice from that. So I think that's it. around first. Alright. Is there anything down here? No? Is that it? Uh, I think that's it. Ha! <laughs> Can I suck it up? now? Okay. Jarring save. Auto save. Here we go. The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. Oh. What do you mean? <coughs> well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? Vaguely. No. <coughs> Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. Hmm. I think I see what you're going through for. Um, can I go quick? Yeah. Okay, that door actually goes slow when you do that. Can I do it again? Yep. Aha! Nope, that door's instant, isn't it? Yeah. Solving puzzles. Come on. Any day now. Loading is kind of long, especially for a game like this, but, you know, whatever. <coughs> Are we frozen? Blinded by the light. All right, here we go. Finally, geez, Louise. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, if they're wrong... You're just saying what they want they your wrong. program to say. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation. Because it knows what to say, it doesn't understand what no it's saying. That a conversation <coughs> right, it just, know, it just knows what, what to say. What people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? Oh, there's a question. Uh, okay, so there's a door here. I don't know where to unlock it. Anything down here that I missed? Nope. What's that, uh... Is that, is that always been there at the bottom of the screen? That little, like... Looks like analog stick? There's a timer there, which makes me think that's important. like Sonic. It's gonna be tough actually. Let's get right on the edge there. Can I see it from there? Go. Go. No! Am I doing this right? Not sure about it. Did it. Did it. Okay. Can I take that blue juice back? Oh, I took it away from me. I may be a machine. Who's this? But I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I 
Make it peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. Don't threaten me. Does this kill me? No. Huh. Weird. I don't know what this is all about. I can't suck up any of the stuff. I don't think. No. Okay, it's starting to get darker lighting. A little more ominous. Especially after that threatening comment. Um, what does this do? Anything? Okay, we could take that out, which will close that up. Is there anything I can zap up from here? No, but I can. Okay, so I need to have blue juice. It seems like. Wait. Gotta find me some blue juice. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Need to find another block. Need to find another block. Where, oh where? It's over here. Oh! <clears throat> Don't mind if I do! <clears throat> yeah! Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm-hmm. Puzzle solved, I think. Yep, puzzle solved. This is the cruise quarters. It looks abandoned. Where'd my gun go? Notice. Ah, it's so bright. Hold on, I'll turn the brightness down a little. <clears throat> I turned it up, because usually stream the video is a little dark so let's go back to normal I do not see the need for so many cameras Tom's presence everywhere is slightly oppressive I understand the need for transparency but why is he in the toilets <clears throat> wait is he literally in the toilets or does he mean like bathrooms <laughs> he's like looking up from the bottom of a toilet take that Tom I had chili burritos today with scotch pepper hot sauce scotch bonnet uh because we care <clears throat> i wonder if these are like actual developer kids or maybe like kickstarter but i don't know if it's kickstarter does that say hell no hell does it say hell okay me and dan <clears throat> oh are they a couple brothers or something uh, it's a piece of rock very pretty baseball bat I don't know where you're gonna use that in here wait can I look up uh, drilling report fascinating oh cup family snowman it's just a globe of Earth? Yeah, it is. There's Africa. <clears throat> and it looks like... It might actually be the Gall Peters pro projection, not the Mercator. It's hard to tell. Because uh, the map that we use is the uh, Mercator projection, and it's actually very wrong. Uh, Africa is much, much, much bigger than the maps that we use. Uh, if you're curious, if you've ever never seen it before, look up the Gall Peters projection of, of the Earth. If you've never seen it, you might be have a mind blown moment. Because everything we know about this Earth is uh, not quite the reality of it in terms of the land sizes. <clears throat> okay, anyway. Uh, this door is locked. <clears throat> it's a sticky note. Don't touch. This is the fifth time. 
that that uh, cursor in the middle is so tiny. Teeny tiny. Oh, here we go. Was I already in here? I was just in here. That was uh, McLean, right? Dan McLean? Or Chris McLean? Yep. Sarah. She's got a, her bed's made. And her screen works. Okay. I'm more of a Chris guy myself. Making beds. Making beds is overrated. Look at, look at, see? You can tell the difference of people. She's all organized. Dear Tom. Knowing that you're always watching, I thought I would write you a letter. As you no longer reside in my mind, I decided to transfer my thoughts to text. I want to do so in the form of a history lesson. A lesson that perhaps you'll find uh, condescending, but it's likely more for my sake than yours. Alan Turing is considered a, fa a father, a father, of theoretical computer science and artificial intelligence. Perhaps a lesser known part of his life was his contribution to the field of biology. Why do you suppose his interest lay in these two disparate fields? I assume it was because he believed the world to be logical and understandable. He was a mathematician. He seemed to believe that the great complexity of the universe could be explained with simple rules. Two, wait, did Alan uh, Turing really commit suicide? Wait, that's, that's hard to read with. Uh, two years before suicide, 1952, Alan Turing developed something called Reaction Diffusion System. I need to look this up. Did he really commit suicide? Uh, anyway, inside the academic world, this work is cited more than his work on computers. It could be generally formalized as a one line equation. How long is this? I'm not going to read this whole thing. Let's get the cliff notes. I have no efficient wish to diffuse and react. How a leper gets its spots. Can a machine impersonate a human? Why ask that question? Okay, this is, maybe this is an actual quote. According to the most extreme form of this view, the only way by which one can be sure that a machine thinks is to be the machine and to feel oneself thinking. One can then describe these feelings to the world, but of course no one would be justified in taking any notice. Likewise, according to this view, the only way to know that a man thinks is to be that particular man. It's kind of true. <clears throat> if human mind exists within the physical world, it obeys the same rules of physics. Well, a human mind... That's a philosophical question, but Descartes said, I think, therefore, I am. So, anyway. It's merely reactive. It's curious. The nature would create uh, mechanics of determinism. Creatures that believe they have free will. It is curious, isn't it? Conversely, I suppose, if we conclude that we are all machines, we only came to this conclusion in a predetermined manner. We cannot claim credit for our discovery as it's just a product of nature's genius, not our own. Right. So, that's interesting. Okay. Getting philosophical here, there, uh, Sarah. She got a shovel? Sweet. Okay, what does that say? Strange thermals on the west side of the crater. Uh oh. Science. The book is just called Science. Okay, this is the lore episode, huh? She got a cross, she's religious. All right. That's Sarah. We did Chris. Uh, Daniel, oh, Daniel and Chris. Okay, oh, Dan and Chris. All right, 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 right. That's from the picture. Have I gone this way already? Ah, jeez. Who's next? <clears throat> Sochi and Mikal. Okay, there she is. She got a bonsai tree. Very nice, very nice. A thermos. How long is this? This is a lot of lore. Let's try to skim it, shall we? Scanning organisms. I can like zoom in <clears throat> more complex life on Europa okay so we found complex life a lot of radiation attaches to human cells okay so they found something attached to human cells resistance to radiation 
Something's amiss. It's repairing its own DNA. Another organism may be in a symbiotic relationship. Unknown virus, which is named Europa. You, okay. Is it gastrointestinal, did they say? No. A virus unlike we've ever seen. We may have found a cure for... Oh, I can't even read that. Senescence? A form of biological immortality. Longer lifespans. Oh, in, in plants. So I wonder if she put the thing in the this plant to test it. <clears throat> okay, so virus that seems to be resistant to radiation. It attaches to human cells and possibly increases lifespan of life. Found a uh, organism, virus living in it, scavenges DNA. Immortal relationship. It doesn't seem to age. If we can harness this power, we can potentially eliminate biological aging. That's what Senna senses. Like, so you found something that can make humans immortal? Not save you from trauma. Right. Okay, so it's basically self-repairing DNA. Because DNA breaks down with age. So this thing <clears throat> has self-repairing DNA. That's interesting. But, uh, you know, obviously you got to test the heck out of that before you come to any conclusions. Pills. God, the text is so small. All right, I think we're good on this. Mikel, he was the guy acting weird, almost possessed in an audio log. Uh, okay, what do you? What's your deal, huh? A lot of text. All right, guys, this is the lore episode. <clears throat> Experience nausea. Okay, there, there was an electrical surge. Don't disturb the implants. Tom was not comfortable with my attempts to disturb the implant. He's gonna experiment with shock therapy? I've been running some experiments outside of Tom's view. I can tell he knows this. He's been acting differently around me, like an offended child. I feel nauseous. Out-of-body experiences are frequent. I have, been implanted, I have been implanted with a device that affects my mind. I use my opportunities and regular health checkups to investigate the crew. We all have them. Wow. <clears throat> Every single one of us is implanted with some mind-altering contraption. Tom has been encouraging the team to worry about my mental health. He requested that I retire away from the crew. Misinformation. Uh-oh. He's going cray cray. I'm typing with my left hand now. The excision went wrong. I successfully removed the implant. Unfortunately, I lost my hand to the operation. Tom is very angry. The crew refused to talk to me. Apparently, I'm a bad influence. Sarah patched me up. Okay. Perhaps this organism is not so friendly. Yeah, I mean, you know, you find you find strange alien life. You need to treat that with care, okay? You're scientists. My termination, my masochistic operation uh, proves I'm a danger to the mission. Okay, I'm going to investigate the implant. I have to hide my work. Tom is encouraging them to mis distrust me. Nature of my implant. It's a complex computer. It interfaces with the human mind directly. It seems to condition the mind through Pavlovian and instrumental conditioning. I listen to feelings of euphoria when aware is obedient and dis for you when you're disobedient. What is going on here? It has the effect of suppressing impulses in the frontal lobe to lower free will. It seems to interface crudely with uh, motor neuron cells through the cerebellum. 
It is my hypothesis that the crew is con actually he's Russian, isn't he? That there is a strong aversion to helping me. I need a method of suppressing its impact. Perhaps a drug. Maybe an antidepressant to minimize the conditioning effects. Combined with a strong electromagnetic field, I could use one of the industrial electromagnets from the construction robots. I have a horrible Russian accent. I have managed to get Chris on my side. He has agreed to test some medical procedures with me in private. It will be more difficult one-handed, but I must persevere. I am hoping to keep this out of the eyes of Tom, though I have a feeling he will still be listening. <clears throat> okay, that's about as good of a Russian accent I can do, folks. Oh, he's a painter. Oh, this is a lot of symbolism. So he's kind of like a free thinking man. And they don't like that. He's an artist. Artist. And he likes drugs. Okay. Very nice painting. This painting of Mikel. This is a self portrait. Okay, I already did. So she you. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, that's an episode, everybody. On the next one, we're actually going to solve some puzzles and maybe question Tom about what the heck is going on around here. Uh, sorry for all the reading, guys. This has been a lore episode, but I'm intrigued. This is, uh, this is some good world building. There's clearly more to this story. Is Tom a bad guy? Is there alien life here? And does it want to hurt us or help us? So many questions. Perhaps we'll get the answers. I'll catch you next one, guys. Thanks. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.